Welcome to the next episode of Chat Over Tea. My name is Desiree Reddy, and I guess by a upgrade of today's guest, his name is Rian. He's an author. He is, oh my God, a very, very multi-involved gentleman who is into business writing and a lot of digital marketing. He works with many profound brands, and today I want to learn more about Rian as much as you do. Welcome to Chat Over Tea. Thank you, thank you, Agvardiar. It's nice being here today. I'm so glad. I have just accumulated the latest knowledge about you that you are not just a writer; you are also an author, who dropped um, the first book, uh, Firefly. Firefly. F- Firefly. Firefly. <laughs> Firefly. I'm mixing it. Um, yes. But I'm very interested at the latest book, which is Dead Overnight. Yes, Dead Overnight. Yes, that's my the title for my latest piece I'm working on. You dropping it or it's dropped already? No, no, I'm still in the writing process. I'll I'll be done by next year, early August. Then okay. I can go into publishing. What's the synopsis of the book? It basically tells my journey of how my life was before I became a father, mm. how I became a dad overnight. Oh wow! Literally received my amazing precious boy August yeah. when he was three days old. Yes. I had no idea it was about to enter my life. Yeah. And how he changed me and made me the person who I am today. This is very interesting. I wasn't going to get into it because it's the book that is about to come, but how do you just happen to be a father overnight? You didn't know that you were expecting a child. Yes, not at all. I didn't know I was expecting a child. But at the end everything made sense. Yeah. In the beginning I was battling and trying to figure out and wrap my mind around how can this happen to me? Mm. How did I end up in this position? What am I going to do? That was the biggest obstacle. What what am I going to do going forward? Yeah. But like animals similar to us, we adapt or die. I was no longer responsible for my own life. I was responsible for two lives now. Yes. Wow, that is amazing. And how old is August now? He's now 2 years and 5 months. Lovely. So now you are involved in so many things. I don't know how you do it. Um tell me a little bit more about the magazine that you own, uh Blue Monkey. Blue Monkey is ma- ma- mainly lifestyle and entertainment oriented. Um it started out as covering anything in South Africa, but I started yeah. to compressed it into West Rand only because it was a printed magazine at first it started out as a blog transition into a printed magazine mm. and due to lockdown and covid it transition into a digital magazine into a digital magazine only a couple of years so i'm mainly focused on what's happening where and where around West Rand wonderful and you're working with all these amazing women because i'm following your magazine and i see a lot of women powerful women more than men i don't know why <laughs> to to be honest is because mm. the only people that i meet recently is powerful women mm. the only people who even if i have to give a list of all the people who have influenced me in my life it will be a list of women a woman does he doing it recently <laughs> if i have to be honest yes that's true and you i envy you because you get to be so close to people like rosa faniker She's yes. one of your clients. How how is it to work with somebody like that? She's like a powerful force on her own. She she started off as one of my clients yes. and now she's one of my best best friends. She's truly really inspirational. She has taught me so much. Just our lives are completely different. Me yeah. being in publication, she being into pageantry and as a professional attorney and everything. Mm. But she we inspire each other a lot. It's it's nice working with her because there's a there's a quote that says if you're the smartest person in the room mm. you're clearly in the wrong room. <laughs> and so when I surround myself with people like Rosa yeah. and my other friends and that I feel that I want to become better. Yeah. Now that's true. That is very true. So you have um charity organizations as well. You're not only a businessman but you have such a big heart. Uh you've got the VNV Yes, for the veranderen, for your fear. It's okay. a, yeah, it's a non-profit organization that I started mm. where we aim is we sell branded shirts yes. which are quite nice with our logo and everything mm. and all the proceeds 
goes directly towards helping unprivileged people at the end of each month. That's that's what we do. It's not that interest. It's not. It's interesting, but it's not that complicated. So then, which area are you working with? Currently, since we only started Fear the Fear, I'm I'm receiving a lot of help with, from my other friend Janine yeah, from yeah. Lochrenberg, yeah. who's one of the directors and everything. She helps me a lot, and so we're basically doing this together right now. We're working around the West Rand as well because we reside in the West Rand, yeah. and since we only started recently. We haven't grown that much yet, but we're looking to just expand, 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 cover more and more regions. So you're looking to expand this like for the entire Africa or South Africa? As far as we can go. As far as you can as go. Far, the more sales we get from our merchandise, the more proceeds we get, the more people we can help. This is amazing. I mean, opening a business in order to be able, it's like involving everybody. It's like changing everybody's mindset because instead of people just buying mindlessly and just because they are uh, uh, collecting material things yes now they buy in order to contribute in a good initiative that develops the country and that's what i respect about this movement that's, that's yeah that's something that i noticed as people are hesitant to help someone if they just have to give no one just wants to give 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 unfortunately yeah. humans want to receive as well yes so people won't rather donate money but they will buy something it, they will buy something so this way everyone wins my movement grows you get an amazing t-shirt yeah. and somebody else gets something to eat love it you're an amazing writer we've seen it in the articles from your magazine um, we've seen it in the books that you are dropping you're an amazing businessman because you've come up with this business strategy that is also like very charitable and um, you're an amazing father as it is, but I know for a fact that you have a sports history. What is your journey there in sports? I was just um, very... I, I tried a lot of different things, yeah. but I was never a professional in all of that. I was like <laughs> a jack of all trades. Yes. From playing rugby in school, on my school days mm. I played rugby. I was never really a standout rugby player, but I loved rugby. Yeah. I played chess. Yes. I love chess. I'm actually a good chess player. That's one of the sports I'm actually most fond of. And a couple of years back, I fell in love with MMA and kickboxing. Yeah. And I practiced that a lot. And I'm still very interested in that. But ever, currently, I'm doing no sport at all, except chess. <laughs> I still love my chess. How do you like your tea? This tea is quite amazing. For a green tea, that's actually nice. Because... <laughs> Trying to detox permanently and trying to <laughs> live healthy since the dawn of time. Yeah. <laughs> this tea is actually amazing for a green tea. Yeah, I know you would have preferred like a whiskey or something, right? Oh. But I knew that if you try this tea, <laughs> you're going to change your mindset about it. It's a lovely green tea that we are having and it's called Basila uh, Green Tea. You can always find it in four ways. Now, the most amazing thing that is happening right now in your life is that you are studying human behavior. Yes. Uh, two months ago, I enrolled in a long course towards a Diploma for Human Behavior because I've always been fascinated about how people work, how people think and everything. And yeah. I turned 30 last year, mm. or last month, in the 18th of August, I turned 30. Mm. So it's a bit too late for me to go into psychology and that. <laughs> So I'm doing all these short courses, yeah. trying to just educate myself. It's yeah. basically just because I'm so curious how people work. So I'm, that's why the reason I'm actually studying it. It helps me as well with motivation, with my motivational speaking. Yes, you you one of the people in this country who are striving for development. You like contributing as much as you can in order to make change to bring about change and it really um it really makes me wonder what is your next move in contributing in developing the youth of south africa i know you already have charity stuff going on but you're studying human mind it's like you are constantly looking for ways to bring about change tell me the secret what is the next move <laughs> yeah you, you're feeling me on a spot yeah um <laughs> i actually want to Mm. Just, I want to focus on change in a mental way. Yeah. Like, there's so much movements like 
gender-based violence, everything. That's amazing. But yes. I'm fascinated about mental health awareness. Mm. I really want to move into a direction and start something that helps with battle against oppression, especially the youth, because it was only in my late 20s when I actually discovered who I am and what I want to do with my life. Most yeah. of my early 20s was very depressing because I was so lost. Mm -hmm. So I want to find a way to help the youth discover themselves and maybe skip and cope with depression. Yeah. And that actually does have a link to one of your latest clients that I know about, which is Royal International. Yes. Um, you're very fond of youth, you're very fond of women. How do you feel being a part of that type of initiative? Look, I never expected myself to become so involved in the pageant life, in pageantry, <laughs> but yeah. it's something I so, so enjoy. Seeing what Rosan Fazano is busy doing Mm. with their pageant and seeing how the ladies mm. are growing in a, in a short couple of months. That's what keeps me actually want to dive deeper into the industry, seeing people discover the true inner strength, seeing people gain charisma that they never expected to have had in them. Mm. Being as influential as you are, I believe a lot of people want to know more about you because Chat Over Tea is quite short. Uh, where can they reach you? People can reach me currently on social media platforms, TikTok, a YouTube channel, Facebook and Instagram. All you have to do is type in Rian Arche Beeslaar and I will pop up. There's only one of me, so you can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, and your website? My website is archebeeslaar.co.za That makes me the most humbled person to have one of the kindest human beings in South Africa who contribute as much <laughs> as he can to develop this country. It is Rian A.G. Beslar, y'all gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> thank you very much for chatting over tea with me. I'm looking forward to chatting over many, many tea flavors with you. Thank you, Gwardiar. Thanks. It is Yulim Pop Queen Desiree K. Khoshira D. Signing out right now from a chat over tea. Follow us on social media on the same name, Chat Over Tea SA. Mm -hmm.